Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Crazy Auctions plugin. Now, this is a fantastic auction plugin that works via GUI and a few commands, making it very easy and simple for your players to sell their items. So, there are two main ways to sell your items there is the set price way, so you set an item at a particular price and it will be sold or you can set up a bidding system where people keep on bidding until the winner at the end of time um, will win the item. So if we do forward slash CA it will open up a GUI and up here we'll show all of the items for sale at a set price and down here if we go to the slime uh, we will see all of the items that are being bidded on. So this one runs out quickly so we're going to have to do it extremely fast. Um, so the current bid is $100 for this axe and over here we can add money, take away money to set our bid. So if we do 100 once and 10 twice, our bid will be 120, it should be, so minus 10. And there we go, so that's our bid. If we click bid now, we will set the bid on the item. And if nobody goes above that, we will win the item when it runs out. So that is the second way of purchasing an item. The first way is much easier. You find the item you want, maybe a diamond axe. Um, and you click on it. This is being sold by myself so I cannot purchase it but this stack of yellow wool is being sold by my other account for $14 if we click to purchase and then click green to confirm we will win that. So down here you can see I've just won a bid for the item at $120. Now if we want to collect our items from either something we won or something that was cancelled you go down to the rotten potato here and here you can see all of the items that have um, been expired or cancelled or won. So we will click these and get them in my inventory like that. Or we can click return all down here. So if we go back we can look at all the, the categories. If there is a long list of items for sale and you only want weapons you can click this and it will only show weapons or you can click none to show everything that's being sold depending on how popular the server is. Uh, there is obviously different pages depending on how many are being sold at one time and little helpful tips in the book um, that tells you what's going on. And if we go all the way over to the left you will see items you are selling and this will just list everything you have for sale and give you the option to cancel it. And it will also tell you how long until it expires which by default is two days. So click this and it will disappear and then if we go back click the rotten potato again and you can collect your item. So that is how it works in game. There is a couple more commands that I can show you. So if we go CA help, you can do CA view and then a particular player and it will show everything that they are selling if you have a favorite seller for whatever reason. And if you do forward slash CA uh, collect, that will allow you to collect all of your items if you don't want to click the GUI item. So that is how it works in game. Obviously the config fault is very important with this plugin. It allows you to change so many different values. So we're going to take a look at that now. So here we are in the crazy auctions folder. And as you can see, there are three different files. Down at the bottom, we have the messages.yml. Now this has everything that the player will see. Uh, you don't need to mess around with this, but you could change the color and format codes if you really had to. Then if you go into the data.yml, this has all of the items that are being sold. Once again, you don't need to mess around with this. The config.yml is the most important. There is so much in here that you can change. So um, rather quickly, the GUI settings. Now this has everything to do with how the GUI looks. So the slot everything is in, the item it uses, and the law of the item. So it's probably best not to mess around with this at all. You could obviously change the items to make it um, a bit more simple to use, but you really don't have to. Uh, it's probably best to leave this how it is. Now up at the top, this section, this is the part you want to be changing to personalize it for your server. So up at the top, you can change the GUI and prefix name uh, to whatever you want. It could be Mindplex Auctions or Simple Auctions or something along those lines. And then down here, we have a few more text options that you could change. Uh, obviously, change the color codes here if you wanted. And then down here, we have the sell time. So by default, that is two days but you could obviously change it to anything you want. So D for day, M for minute, S for seconds, W for week, for example. So uh, cell time could be changed to maybe two hours with a H and bid time is two minutes and 30 seconds, but you could change that to something else, for example, maybe five hours 
and 30 minutes, like that. Very simple. Then the full expiry time is 10 days, which you probably caught a glimpse of um, when I clicked the rotten potato, and the bid winner time, uh, how long they have to claim their prize until it disappears. Then we have the um, prices, so the minimum sell price, the max beginning sell price, and then the minimum max bidding price, right here. So you can change this to whatever you want, depending on how your economy looks in your server. Allow damaged items, it's probably best to set that to false and whether you have a sound or not. So you can disable or enable that. So that is how the plugin is configured. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Down at the bottom, I mustn't miss this. This is the blacklist. So this is things you cannot sell. Seven, of course, is bedrock. And I'm not sure what 120 is, but you could obviously put things like TNT, which is 46 here. Uh, pretty straightforward, just go to a new line, put a hyphen, apostrophe, and then 46. So that is how you configure the plugin. It's really awesome. Obviously, link's down below. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com. They have the best and the cheapest uh, servers that I've ever seen. And if you want to check me out, my link will be in the description as well. But that is it for me from this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you next time.